I think it, it's more uh, the record was actually simply about being creative and sort of at least um, yeah amusing yourself in terms of making something that yeah that was enjoyable and you could you could sort of take that kind of route yourself rather than um, there was no sort of foresight into how other people would would take it on we were kind of very much doing our own thing we'd been out of the loop for a little while and it was quite nice to just make a record in our own time and see what sounds we enjoyed playing around with I don't know it was just a bit fun really you produce this record yourself so yeah. you know when you're in that space do you kind of surrender to the song and see where it'll take you um no you make it you make a lot of decisions um kind of instantaneously and then you doubt those decisions and then you change those decisions and then you kind of come back to the original decision that you made and you realize it was probably the best one <laughs> so then you re-record it all again and and it becomes really time consuming yeah. you say that through gritted teeth <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah a bit of experience yeah. how long did it take you to make this album I think all in all, probably we spent the best part of the year doing it. Yeah. It wasn't. Um, I think the songs had been around longer. Uh, the songs became a kind of patchwork, but the the actual record uh, probably took a year, I suppose. And when you're producing it yourself, what sort of space were you set up in? Did you have a place where you could just spend all the time in the world, or did you sort of booked studio time that you had limitations in that regard? Yeah, it, it varied. I think in that sense, it was probably an experiment as to how you can make a record, whether you whether you need a big studio or whether you do it in a shed or in your front room and I think we we kind of tried all of them so there was yeah there was no rules to it really and I, and that was the joy of it as well 